We're off to the tropics, my God. I should have a Hawaiian shirt or something on, should I? God, you can imagine me in a Hawaiian shirt. I'd look like the side of a bus. Anyway, this is a recipe that really has got some nice tropical flavors. It's a lovely red snapper. Quite a big, I mean, you don't have to have it quite as large as that. I got a bit excited when I was at the fishmongers. Quarter of a cup of fresh orange juice, two or three cloves of garlic. Now some chipotle, and chipotle is a dried chili. So a nice big tablespoon of that. Not only are we doing tropical flavors, we're also giving it a bit of spice. The juice of one or two limes, depending on how juicy they are. Oh, beautiful. Some salt, don't need pepper because you've got that chipotle. A little bit of veggie oil. Now, I haven't added it, but sometimes I put some honey in this to just give it a bit of sweetness. That's up to you guys. You have my permission. Actually, if I remember rightly, I stole this recipe many years ago from a man called Bobby Flay. He's a wonderful American chef, one of my very favorites. And I then changed it completely. So <laughs> It's not really his recipe, is it? So what we'll then do is grab our fish from over here and we're just gonna throw it in there. And we'll turn it over every now and then, but we'll leave it 30 minutes. It doesn't have to be more than that. Because it's got citrus in it, you have to be a little careful because if you leave it in too long, what will happen is it will cook it. Right, now let's make a salsa. Juice of one lime, a little bit of fresh orange, not too much, a little bit of salt, some fresh coriander, some chopped spring onion, just a couple, and about four or five cherry tomatoes. Some beautiful fresh pineapple, now that's fresh. You know, you can go to the veggie shop these days and you buy them and be a bit careful because sometimes they're not as quite as good as they should be because they've been sitting there a while. You can buy a peeled cord pineapple. What I've done is put it on a very hot ridged grill so it's got some nice smoky flavors. And I will also add any juices. Put a little bit of oil on this one too. And then we're going to put salt. And just have a taste. Mmm. Beautiful. We'll be back in half an hour and we'll finish this blessed thing off. And I'm also making a lovely cocktail to go with it called Passion Fruit Porn Star. Good stuff. All right, guys, my fish is looking pretty darn good. Whack it on the grill. And let's start thinking about our cocktail. So some ice and a cocktail shaker, of course. To that, I then add, now this is Liquor 43. I don't know much about this, except it goes nicely in there. Certainly quite aromatic. 20 mils of that, 30 mils of good vodka. Actually, I don't think it matters what vodka you use for this, because there's so many other flavors in it, isn't there? 30 mils of that. Now, what I've got here, I've got some passion fruit, and I'm just forcing it through the fine sieve because I don't really want too many pips in it. 30 mils passion fruit juice, 30 mils of fresh lime. And I will just turn that fish over. You know what sugar syrup is, you put equal quantities of water and sugar into a pot and you just boil it until the sugar dissolves. 15 mils of that. Right, just grab our glass and we'll put some fresh ice in that. I don't know whether I've told you, but Ruth does her cocktails on Friday nights and she does a cocktail and puts it up on one of the sites. And she did this recently and I loved it. The point was, she had so many people said, oh, we make a porn star, but we make it with this and we make it with that. And every single one of them I think did it in a different way, which is fine, but they all oh, were very keen on this drink. Very keen, as was I. Oh, guys, there was a bit of discussion about whether it goes over ice or it doesn't. So it's up to you. Quite a few people said, oh, no, no, you, you don't pour it over ice. Just in a dry pan, and let's just have a look at our fish. Always undercook it a little. Stick it a bit, I should have put a little bit more oil on, I think. What happens with fish is when you take it off the heat, it actually continues to cook for quite a while. So never cook it completely because otherwise it'll be overcooked. The residual heat in the center will continue to cook it. A Little bit of that marinade over the top. 
plenty of this salsa. There we have a taste of the tropics on a tortilla with that wonderful passion fruit porn star. Guys, I am going to eat this for my lunch. Looks bloody brilliant.